Hey, here we talk a lot about horsepower, but today I'm going to tell you about a horse made from steam. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Brent and I'm glad you're watching Steam Culture today. Thanks to our longtime viewers. Hey, if you're not a longtime viewer, if you're new, welcome. We can make you a longtime viewer. Just click that subscribe button below and we'll see you here every Friday when we push some new content out. Now we take Steam and Culture, we try and show you where they meet. And today, we'll kind of tease it out a little bit. We don't actually have a horse <laughs> made from steam. We have this strange looking contraption that was called the steam horse. It was also called the mechanical traveler, made by William Brunton in the early 1800s. What a goofy looking thing, but I love it. That's why steam culture is so unique. Now, why would you make this? Well, apparently they were in a rock quarry and they had a very steep grade and they needed something really powerful to be able to move the quarry stone up and down this steep grade. So they came up with this invention and the legs go behind the boiler and literally walk the thing up. Now, the, the locomotive contained a five or six horsepower boiler. About three miles an hour was about as fast as it went. 500 PSI, so there was a lot of pressure um, in this boiler. Now, unfortunately, the boiler blew up in the early 1800s and killed uh, a lot of people, about 12 or 15 people, plus injured a whole bunch of spectators, which brought the mechanical traveler to an end. But it is a part of our steam history, and we wanted to share that with you. So. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, we're here every Friday. Remember, you click the subscribe button, but don't wait. You can go out and find us on the internet. We got content for you each and every week. Go watch your Boiling Point. You'll be smarter for it. See you next Friday.